All right. So, um, weighted averages, weighted means. Um, I thought for a while. I, try, I was trying to think of a, a unique example, something really out of the box, because everyone, when they teach weighted averages, uses the, the example of of different assignments counting um, a, a, a different amount towards a final grade. Um, but one, I couldn't think of an example other than this classic one. And two. Um, probably the only situation in which you'll use a weighted average or one of the only um, would be actually calculating your final grade you know based on assignments counting t um, different types of assignments counting differently towards the final grade so might as well do this uh, do the type of problem that you'll actually use um, you'll I mean there's other other w ways in which you'd use a weighted average you know there's mixture problems um, you know, constant velocity problems, stuff like that. But uh, this is a, this is one where you'll you'll probably use it. So uh, we're gonna use this. So before we talk about weighted averages, let's just talk about averages again. So just kind of going back old school. If I wanted to average these three numbers, three, seven, and eleven, what I would do is I would add them up and then divide by the number of numbers. So there's three different numbers that I'm averaging. So uh, I would divide it by three. So three plus seven is 10, plus 11 is 21, divided by three is seven. So the average or mean of three, seven, and 11 is seven, okay? But the idea of, of a weighted average is the, the different numbers um, don't all necessarily count equally towards the final average. Uh, maybe maybe 11 is more important than 3, or maybe 3 is weighted more than 11, so the 3 kind of outweighs the 11 and, and sways the average downwards more towards the 3. Okay, so the idea of, of a weighted average is the different numbers count um, differently towards the final average of the numbers. So the way you calculate it is the weighted average of, of um, a set of numbers is uh, the unweighted average of one of the groups times its weight plus the unweighted average of another group times its weight, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, divided by the sum of all the weights. So you can you can make your, your weighting anything you want. What, what matters is um, proportion. So I could, so say, okay, so for example, uh, I've got a cl uh, science class here. And there's four different types of assessments. There's labs, there's homework, there's tests, and there's essays. So labs are going to count for 40% of your grade. Homework's going to count for 10%. Tests are going to count for 30%. And essays are going to count towards uh, t count 20%. Um, so my I could count I could consider my weights to be 40, 10, 30, and 20. Uh, I could, I could, you know, I could convert these to their decimal equivalents. So I could, it could be 0 0.4, 0 0.40, 0 0.10, 0 0.30, 0.20. Um, I could. It doesn't really matter. Just be consistent. What matters is the proportion. What ma so if I want this to count as 10% and this to count as 40%, all that matters is that this is four times as big as this. So 40 is four times as big as 10. 0 0.40 is four times as big as 0 0.10. So just be consistent. So your, your, your weighting can be whatever you want it to be. What matters is the, the relative size of the weights to the other weights. Okay? So here's the process. So we first we find the un, unweighted average of each, of each group. So, for example, for the lab scores, we'd add 90 plus 95 plus 98 plus 12 plus 96 and divide it by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So I'm going gonna, uh, I'm gonna to bust out the calculator for these because this is going to take me three years if I do it all by hand. So, um, so we have 90. Do you see this crazy line on your screen? I see that. That's weird. I'm not sure where that came from. Plus 95 plus 98 plus 12 plus 96. Uh, is that all of them? So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, that's, so we divide that by 5. So 78.2 would be the unweighted average 
of the lab scores. So let's let's put them down here. Lab. Um, the un unweighted. We'll do that. We'll do it like that. Lab. Um, was that seventy eight point seventy eight point two? All right. Um, so homework. Let's get let's get the um, unweighted. So we've got eighty plus eighty five plus eighty plus one hundred plus ninety five plus eighty. Plus 85, is that right? So 80, 85, 80, 195, 80, 85. Divide that by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's 86.4. I'm going to round these a little bit. 86.4. Test scores. Let's get the unweighted average there. So 100. Plus 30 divided by 2 is 65. Test test scores didn't go so hot, huh? 65. Uh, hopefully, uh, you know, labs will kind of bring that grade up, right? Because they count for more. Uh, and then essays. Oh, 100, 100, 100. That's 100 plus 100 plus 100 is 300 divided by 3 is 100. You know, which you Probably could have figured, right? So yeah, it's the unweighted average of essays is 100. Um, okay, so now let's let's weight these things. Um, so um, so I'm going to multiply uh, each unweighted average by its weight. So um, let's um, let's just let's multiply it by the the whole numbers here. So. Um, 78.2 times the weight of 40. 3,128. Wouldn't that be nice if that could be your final grade? It's a 3,000%. Colleges would probably like that. Um, okay, homework unweighted, 86.4 times the weight, uh, which would be which would be 10. Let's see, 164, like that. Okay, the tests, tests uh, unweighted is 65. Uh, we're going to multiply that by the, the weight of 30. So 1950. And then um the essay unweighted hundred weighting is twenty we do thousand all right so now what we do is we sum up the weighted averages so the sum of the uh, weighted uh, that's sum and then sum of of Eh, forget that. Okay, so sum up um, the the weighted averages. So so three one two eight plus eight six four plus nineteen five zero plus two thousand. So let me just double check. One two hundred. Uh, seven thousand nine hundred forty-two. Okay, and then we divide it by the the sum of the weights. So we've got forty plus ten plus thirty plus twenty. So if I've done this right, these should app should add up to a hundred, right? If if I'm weighting, kind of thinking these as percents, it should add add up to a hundred percent, right? Um, so forty plus ten is fifty, plus thirty is eighty, plus twenty is is one hundred. I'm gonna divide that by 100. Now, if you if you express your percents as decimals like this, they would all add up to one. Uh, so it kind of 
saves you a final step um, where you know this whole thing would be divided by uh, just one so it'd just be itself okay but I'm gonna divide by a hundred um, so 7,942 divided by 100, which is the sum of the, the weights, uh, would be um, 79.42. So, and if, you know, if these are percents, we call it 79.42. So, that would be your final grade according to this weight system. So, yeah, you can see, you know, um, your labs, you kind of, I don't know, your labs and your homework. I don't know. You were able to recover from your test, basically. 79.42. That's solid. That's good stuff. So that's that's weighted average. There are more applications than you know scores, but this is pretty classic. Probably some of your teachers uh, use weighted scores. Um, yeah. All right. That's it. Good job.